All right. Well, <laughs> oh, in perfect fashion. Ah, oh, you know, at least I can laugh about this. I've learned there's no sense in getting upset. I will just, I will laugh. <laughs> Oh, uh, so, I know, none of this is making sense to anybody. Um, yeah, so, last year when I got my taxes done for 2022, Jackson Hewitt tells me, um, yeah, uh, first of all, here's your refund amount, and I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, well, you know that, uh, that uh, free money the government gave us, that wasn't free money. They're getting it back this year. They're getting it back on the taxes. When you do your taxes, they're taking it back. So the $1,000 that I got between two, a $600 check and a $400 check for that stimulus, well, they took that right off. Now, I didn't get, I didn't see that in my tax refund like I normally would. Um, they took that $1,000 right on back and I got the difference. Um, but then the lady at Jackson Hewitt tells me, um, you also owe $370 to your local, for your local taxes. I said, uh, excuse me, suck what? Um, that should have came off my paycheck at the employer. And she shows me the box on the W-2 and says, oh, you see this box here? That should have a number in it and there's nothing in it. So of course I went to work, well, I went to the, my job at the time down in, uh, Richland, PA, at SWM, now Mativ. And, uh, well, let's just say that uh, I went into work and I let, I mean, my boss, my boss knew I wasn't happy. And, of course, nobody in, in the facility, we have no HR personnel in this facility at where I worked at the time because she, the only lady that, that happened to do any type of HR stuff, worked from home in her she shed and refused to come back after long after COVID and uh, they just left her get away with it. So nobody's there, there's nobody to talk to. Uh, I was on second shift, you know, the plant manager doesn't know anything about that stuff nor really care. Um, so it was bad enough that, you know, I wasn't, they weren't taking money off here in the beginning of 2023 either. Uh, hopefully that'll all come out in the wash with my uh, new job here doing the security job and now the uh, slot technician for VGT. But hopefully that'll, for 2023, it'll all come out in the wash and, and break even like it did uh, in 2021 when I first started at the other place. They weren't taking it then either but I had paid in enough at my other jobs prior to that, that it came out in the wash. So I'm hoping it comes out in the wash again. Um, but when you have your taxes down at Jackson Hewitt, okay? And when they write right on the envelope and highlight it for you, don't forget to enclose a check payable to Keystone Collections Group. And of course, when I looked up the address for Keystone Collections Group, I got the address. So I mailed them a check postmarked by the tax day though this year on April, April 17th. And uh, now here on uh, July, we are in July. And this was in my mailbox. I got my money back with a little note at the bottom that says 2022 EIT-W1597885050, whatever the heck that means. Not the collector for PSD 36120. Um, there's only one Keystone Collections Group and they're supposed to handle that. Well, I didn't really have whatever I had to send along with the check. They didn't send me that back. So now 
I look up online and I see that online it says for paying your local Lancaster County taxes, you can go to any Fulton Branch bank. So I just came out of the bank. Nice lady, not her fault. I wasn't mad at her. Um, not mad at all, actually. I'm just going to laugh at this. Um, she says, well, we can't do anything unless you have the bill. <laughs> I never had an actual tax bill to begin with for this. I just had Jackson Hewitt tell me, hey, you owe 370, blah, 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 blah. And now I, I paid it. And yet they're returning my money saying they don't collect for Lancaster County. When Jackson Hewitt's telling me, they're telling me they do. So, this little tax fiasco, which all started from the, the incompetence of SWM company, that is, their headquarters is in Delaware, um, Due to the incompetence of someone when I found I filled out my I filled out my tax forms when I started. So they had all the right information. There's no reason why you don't take taxes off. Unless someone is completely incompetent in their job and has their head up their ass. So now I you know I came here to the bank to try I, I since it said that online, I thought, you know what, I'll just I'll do the right thing. I will come here, I will pay it, and now that since this lady's like, well, you're going to have to contact them and blah, 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 you know, I'm thinking, how about this? How about I just make sure that I got that, I, know, I keep a hold of that money for now, and uh, maybe I'll let Jackson Hewitt take care of it when, I, when they do my 2023 taxes, or maybe... I'll just, I'll contact somebody. I don't even know who to contact. I mean, she was saying something about Lancaster County Local Inc. Tax Bureau. Ah. You know what? <laughs> uh, I'm so fed up with this, with all this BS because of, you know, my old employer and someone's incompetence. Um, that I don't even care to deal with this right now. I got work. I got, you know, plans and things. You know, I got, I, I don't have time for this, you know. <laughs> so maybe I'll just push it off until later. Um, which I'm sure will come in, which will come back and probably hit me, and then I'll have uh, fees and late for late taxes. I'm sure I'll have pencil to pencil penalties. Mm. Lovely, lovely. So, <laughs> never a dull moment for the bearded nomad van life. Mm. Something is this, this life's supposed to be simpler, and it is, but yet it's amazing how an employer can create you such grief even after you leave them. Their, their screw up is still creating issues for me. And I'm not sure. Cause you know what? Like I said, I'm just gonna laugh about it. Ha ha ha! It'll come out in the wash later. I'll figure it out. We'll take care of it later. They're not in you now. <coughs> you would think that the place. I guess I'm gonna call the number on the check and try to get somebody on the phone. Waste my more. Waste my morning here. I had other. I had other things I wanted to do. I, I wanted to go check out a a park and go swing the detector a little bit this morning here but now I'm going to waste my time doing this adulting stuff that's only caused by someone's incompetence yeah so here we are again this is the second video I'm going to make about 
somebody about this issue because of someone's incompetence and the incompetence continues you know <laughs> and they wonder why people don't want to pay their taxes or don't want to deal with it it's because they don't make it easy you know I tried to go on the Keystone Collections website but because I didn't actually have a bill from them for my taxes which you would think if I owed them wouldn't they know this and they would submit a bill to me even though the tax place even though Jackson Hewitt told me I owed taxes wouldn't you think that Keystone would have sent me a bill with that cool little number so when I went to their website I didn't have that number but with that number I could have went right in it would have known it's me it would have showed that I owed 370 in local taxes because my employer was incompetent and I could have paid it online like I have in the past years ago when I owed some local taxes because they didn't take an, enough percentage off so I owed and I got a bill they sent me a bill now after COVID I guess nobody's capable of doing their job so no bill sent to me no 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 cool little pretty number that lets me log in to get into their website and pay my bill to make it easy this is the incompetence of everyone working from home too many people work from home and don't do their job because they're too busy sitting at home watching soap operas playing with their playing with their little diddly or playing with their foofy, you know. These men and women must go back, go back to the office. Actually, go to the office, do your job, please. Because I've had about, I'm about up to here with the incompetence of people and companies and stuff that should be doing their job. Uh, but yet, I'm the one going to get penalized when. They don't have, now that they don't have my, whoop, who's that? Uh, 888 number? No. To the sky, see Carlos work. To the sky. And they won't leave a voicemail. They never do. All these, all these num, all these toll-free numbers and whatnot. Nobody ever leaves a voicemail. Uh, and if it was the tax people, they you think they leave a voicemail, right? I know they're not trying to get a hold of me. They don't. They'd rather charge me to wait and charge me the penalties. Create me hassles and issues. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's okay. Because I am going to laugh at it. Instead of getting stressed out, I'm going to laugh at it. <laughs> so, uh, sorry about the rant. Thanks for listening. To her. Well, you don't have to listen, but if you do listen, thanks for letting me get this off my chest. And uh, Wow, he don't know how to shift a motorcycle. I go a little more smooth there with the throttle off, clutch, shift, throttle. It's a smooth transition. He didn't get that. He don't got it. He must be new on that motorcycle. So, um, yeah. So thanks for listening. Um, sorry I can't have any cool video content like, you know, finding old coins or finding money or finding cool stuff or even just cleaning up the local park down, you know, cleaning up a park with from some people's trash over the years don't get to do that because i gotta deal with this tax crap so thanks for letting me uh share my venting and laughter at the situation because uh that's what it is a situation that i'm just gonna laugh at <laughs> so yeah I'll catch y'all later. I got to go make a phone call and see what the heck's going on here. So uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, remember, fight for love, not hate. Be kind to of yourself, be kind to of others. And uh, share the love. <laughs>